And anyone who doesn't know me, welcome. My name is Levine. I'm 38 years old and I'm fighting ovarian and uterine cancer. First of all, I want to give thanks to God for what he's doing in my life right now. Even though this is hard, I could not do it without my faith in God and the support he's given me through his love and the people in my life, my family, friends, strangers, co-workers, like everyone has been so supportive and awesome. So this is why I'm even able to make this video and be strong and not totally break down right now. When I'm nervous, I tend to smile a lot. So there is that. Thank you for catching up with me on my journey and for continuing to be a subscriber. All my subscribers out there and anyone new to this channel, welcome. Thank you for joining. This has been one of the hardest videos to record, not only because of the title of this video, but just because of life. I'm sharing something really personal in my life right now. I never thought I would do a video like this. Um, I'm very big on sharing my talents and my creativity, but I'm not so big about sharing my personal life. And anyone who knows me, I'm a very quiet person, private. Um, and anyone who doesn't know me, welcome. My name is Levine. I'm 38 years old and I'm fighting ovarian and uterine cancer. To me, this year has just been a whirlwind. I thought 2020 was a whirlwind, but this year has just got 2020 beat. But this video is gonna be focused on me being diagnosed with cancer and how I figured this all out and where I'm at now. Um, that I have stage one ovarian cancer and stage four uterine cancer or endometrial cancer as it's also called. Um, and August of last year, 2020, I noticed that I was having irregular periods, which is not normal for me. Normally I have regular periods, you know, I'm always like clockwork and I was having longer period and shorter times I was spotting. So I reached out to my OBGYN after a few months of this and asked her to, you know, to check what's wrong. Something was just not right. Um, with my body overall we did some some labs everything came back negative and we also did an ultrasound where she spotted some polyps which was concerning and so she wanted to do a biopsy on that and um, a dnc which is pretty much taking out all of the fluids and the endometrial fluids and testing that. So I plan on doing a surgery at the end of the year, but with insurance and everything like that, I rescheduled it for the beginning of 2021. So January 2021, I had this surgery.